So I've been racking my brain as to how to best explain this. And while identity operators are really simple, there's only two. There is is and is not. And they're basically seeing if two objects are actually saved with the same memory address in Python. What do I mean by that? Well, you have to realize that every object in Python has a unique identifier for that specific object. This identifier is an integer that remains constant for the object during its lifetime. So I'm going to use this as an example. And if you're not familiar with this right here, this is just a list. But this list is considered an object in Python. A number can be an object, a value, a string can be an object. So let's take a look here. So if I use the print function and then I use the ID function and the ID function basically is used to get the unique identifier for a specific object, which in this case is this list right here, one, two, three. So if I want to print the unique identifier of this list, all I do is I summon the print function and put ID of A. If I run that, you'll see this. You'll see a unique number here. And as the program runs, Python will remember this in its memory. And for efficiency, if I go ahead and I assign the variable B with A, since it already stored A as this list with this number here, it's going to see B as the same exact number. Now you see these numbers changed because every time I run the program, different unique identifiers are given to these objects but you see that they're the same. Now we have C here that also has a list, one, two, three, but I want you to realize that even though it looks like it's the same exact thing as A, if we go ahead and we include it to print and we use the ID function on C and we go ahead and print it, you'll see that in fact, A and B were the same unique identifier, but C was not. So I'm going to repeat that again, IDA and IDB will return the same value because A and B refers to the same object, while IDC will return a different value indicating that C is a different object even though it contains the same data. Now I can actually use the identity operators to illustrate this. So if I summon the print function and I say A is B and I run it, you'll see that it'll say true. Because again, we could see that right here, their IDs are the same, these first two lines here. Now, if I say A is C and I run the program, you'll see that it's actually false. Why? Well, this number right here does not equal any one of these two numbers here. Well, that's because this number here is the unique identifier for C. And then this number here is the unique identifier for A, and clearly A does not equal C. Now it does if you visually look at it, but the data is stored as different unique identifiers. Now I can change this to A is not C, and then if I go ahead and run it, you'll see that's actually true, because it's saying that this number right here, this integer, is not like these two up here. So now I included print A is not C and print A is B side by side. And you could see that both of them are true. So again, in Python, identity operators are used to check if two variables refer to the same exact object, not just if they're equal. There are two identity operators. One is is, and this returns true if both variables point to the same object as is here, print A is B, both A and B are pointing to the same exact integer right here. However, is not returns true if the variable points to different objects. As is shown here, it's saying it's true because this integer here does not equal A, which is this integer here. Now, I also want to show over here because we covered this operator, the two equal signs here. So if I print A equals equals C, you will see that if I run it, it says true. However, if I print A is C and then I run this, you'll see that it says false. So again, why is that? Because the equals equals just looks if they're the same values, not if they're stored under the same integer in Python's memory, which A and C is not. Again, we could see that here. C ends in the numbers 864 when I ran it in this case, and then A ends in the numbers 008. 
So clearly, it is not the same. That's why it's true that A equals equals C, because their values are the same. But A is C is false. So knowing what I said here, what do you think is going to happen if I use a string? So the interesting thing here is that the ID function works for strings in Python just like it does for other objects. However, strings in Python have a unique behavior known as string interning. Interning means that Python tries to reuse existing immutable objects like strings to save memory. So sometimes two different string variables might actually reference the same string object if they have the same content. But this is not guaranteed for all strings. So take a look here. A is set to the string Angie, B equals A, C is set to the string Angie, okay? So if I go ahead and I print this, you'll actually see here that every single one of these has the same unique identifier, and also it's true that A equals equals C, and A is C. Why is this happening? Well, Python is probably trying to reuse the string object Angie to save memory. But this behavior should not be relied upon for programming logic, as it's an optimization feature of Python and not a language specification. For strings that are constructed in more complex ways or are less simple, Python may not intern them, and they will have different ID values even if their contents are the same. This is important to mention, and we're going to return to the identity operators in the future. If it sounds like I'm about to cry, it's because I've been coughing up a storm, I'm a little bit under the weather, but I wanted to put out this tutorial today, so I hope you guys appreciate me doing this tutorial in duress. If you have any questions whatsoever, please mention them in the comment section, and I will see all of you in the next video.